Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting first episode in my brand new toddler play series or should I say toddler and preschool play series because these activities are suitable for that wide age range from about one and a half all the way to about four or five years old. If you have a child of that age then this series is for you. So if you want to find out more then keep watching and subscribe because I'm going to be posting the videos in this in this series every single Thursday. And next Thursday we're going to have a video all about mark making. So all the activities that you can do with your child before they get to that stage where they're properly writing letters and sounds and words, all the things that you need to do to line up in order for your child to be the best writer that they can be. So these are five really easy things that you can do at home to improve your child's fine motor skills. And fine motor skills are incredibly important because they are all those finger strength and wrist strength and grip strength activities that will ultimately enable your child to have a better control over a pencil or a tool so that when they get to that stage where they are writing or they are mark making or painting or whatever it may be, they've got that really good control and grip over things and it will just mean that they are a more fluent and a better and more confident writer as well. But of course, fine motor skills aren't just about writing, it's also about being able to use your fingers and your hands to be dexterous. And this is what these activities today are going to focus on. The first of today's activities is a simple threading one, and for this I've chosen to use this utensil holder that I got from Ikea. It's great because obviously it's got holes in the sides that are larger and then holes underneath that are smaller. They come in different sizes as well with different size holes. Alternatively, you could just use a simple kitchen sieve or colander like this one. And then of course, the last thing that you need are some pipe cleaners or you could use straws as well to thread through the holes. Obviously, just make sure that they're the right size. So then all your little one needs to do is to thread the pipe cleaners or the straws through the holes. It's really a really great activity for coordination but also accuracy because it's quite tricky to get those pipe cleaners into those smaller holes. So the next activity we've got is Play-Doh and this is a really good one for strengthening finger grip. These are just a few ideas for different ex exercises that your child and you can do with the Play-Doh. So a really good one to do is pushing the Play-Doh with your fingers and with your thumbs. You can have a go at twisting the Play-Doh. Clay is a really good one for this because it's quite stiff. You can have a go at pulling it as well. You can also have a go at pushing your fingers into the Play-Doh. Not just using your index finger, but have a go with your other fingers because even for us as adults, you realize how hard it is to do that and how it's important to build up the strength in your other fingers as well. Another good thing to do with Play-Doh, of course, is to roll it and to squash it flat with your hand as well. That's really good for developing those arm and shoulder muscles too. And then the last thing that you can have a go at doing is pinching and pinching using your pincer grip with your index and thumb and your whole hand too. For this next activity, I've got some different apparatus for squeezing. So I've got these play tweezers that I've mentioned before. I've also got a tea strainer, which is great because it's a lot harder to squeeze. So a little bit of a step up. And then we've just got some pegs. There's this one with a wider grip and then this normal, easier to use peg. And then I've just got some pom-poms, but you could use anything really. And then the idea is obviously to squeeze the apparatus, squeeze the tools to pick up the pom-poms and transfer them. The next activity we've got is hole punching, a really simple one, but really effective and children absolutely love it. So I've got one of these hole punches that I got from Hobbycraft, which has got a li little picture on it and then obviously just some paper and then you just can punch the holes and it makes lovely little prints in the paper. A bonus of this as well is that if you tip the paper out of the hole punch afterwards, you can use the cast offs to do other crafts with. Excuse our real life tea here, but the last activity is one that's simple but effective and that is encouraging your children to pick up their food with their fingers. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that those ideas were helpful to you and that they've given you some ideas for how to improve your child's fine motor skills and how to practice those essential fine motor skills at home as well. Don't forget that I'm going to be posting the next video in this series next week on Thursday. 
If you'd like me to make more videos like this, on different ideas for fine motor skills, there's lots more that I have, then hit the like button below to let me know that I should do that. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.